Um, now you've been inside the detention centre for almost yes, a week. What, what sort of impact has it had on your family, do you think? Look, the impact is a tremendous. I don't wish it for anybody to be in that position, no matter what happened. You're trying to do your best to be an outstanding member of a fa uh, for your family, an outstanding member for the community. You could always check with my neighbor, because everybody knows where I am. They will tell you what's going on. But because I asked for some help for my uh, my family, my wife and my sons to be brought from Lebanon, so that way we could be united under one roof. Right. All what I got basically instead just a slam into detention center because. I didn't want to move to Canada for a simple reason. I want, you know, if I go all over, my family will be disrupted everywhere. We will be all over the world. I don't want to be in the country. So you just want your family together, move. yeah? That's exactly right. Yeah. I made the move. I got nowhere to go. Yep. I have basically, you know, uh, nowhere to go in Lebanon. I got nowhere to go in Canada. I sold the two homes and the limousine business I have. I try to be with my family. With my three brothers, I have a, a one sister. My extended family over here, it goes about 80, 85 of them. Yep. So this is why, and most of them, they are within basically Sunshine, Sunshine uh, North, yep. you know, Albion, Keylor, Keylor Down, sure. Taylor's Lakes, you know, Hillside. And I have a, still my daughter is here, and she's pregnant, and she, you know, she have one son, I have a grand grandson, and she is expecting another child as well, sure. you know, on the way with another less than four months. So, to leave your family the one they need you the most, and are trying to get out of here and leave all the family behind. My, all what they're trying to do basically, in order to, they cutting all your roots everywhere and leave the trees outstanding all they need just a little push to bring it down cool. so unfortunately that's what they're trying to do to us and this is very sad in these days most of my fellow australian since i've been here they're trying to help the extended they're trying to offer the extended help yeah. but unfortunately they're a little shame what's going on especially what they've done to us are you they angry at the leave. government are you look to be angry, I never been angry before. I never did it before, and I never do it now. Yep. But to put me in that position, it's not an easy position to be in. You've been locked away. Do you feel like you've been treated like a criminal? Well, when you get locked in, what do you expect? Yeah. What do you expect? Yeah. But I always, I have, you know, I always kept my cool, and I always will keep myself. Yeah. I didn't want to be in this position. Nobody want to be in this position. Yeah. But. Just because you ask for your help, I mean, if you ask for somebody else, all of a sudden, you know, to be in this position locked in, yeah. I did not feel right anyway. And I understand that you've been on a hunger strike, is that right? Well, why have you I, done that? Uh, because they locked me in, I said, well, once you're going to lock me in, basically the hunger strike is on. And now, since the wheel is turning, is not in my hands anymore. My system shut down. And because it's shut down, and they already over weeks is in, unfortunately, I'm not here trying to put a pressure, but a please, please, please help us in order trying to get my family back together. I do not want, you know, any harm to anybody and I never wish it on anybody else. Are you going to start eating again now? Sir? No, I'm afraid not. The hunger strike will go on. How, how long will it go on for? Whatever, whatever is going to happen, I'm not sure how long it's going to be going on for. Hopefully there is, you know, uh, back to their conscious and they're trying to help me out somehow. And hopefully, hopefully it will be solved soon. I'm not too sure how long. I don't know exactly what the future will hold for me. You're, but you're, you're I'm worried optimistic. about what's going to happen? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I'm worried what's going to happen. But I'm trying, or I'm hoping for the best outcomes for all of us.